Good evening, everyone. What is going on? It is I, Vic Evans, High Desert Man. And today, tonight, we are smoking the Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust Mi Carrera Tricky Traca. Okay, we're sitting on the, per the uh, Cigar Medics humidimeter right now, we are sitting at 64%. That is perfect for me. And this cigar comes from my buddy, Roger, who uh, is part of the Patriarchal Smoke Group. If you don't know what Patriarchal Smoke is, Patriarchal Smoke is a group I started a little over a year ago on Facebook. And it is a, it is a faith-based cigar group. Uh, and on, on Tuesday nights, I do um, a Bible lesson. Most of the time I do like a live stream Bible lesson. Uh, but we've done just general discussions. I've had I've had a couple guests on. I'd like to get some more guests on and stuff. But anyways, it's a really cool group. We have a good time and a uh, good bunch of brothers in there. And Roger received, uh, got some of these cigars in some samplers that he bought, a shop that he frequents. For some reason, they don't sell uh, Dunbarton stuff very well, or I, I didn't really understand, but it sounded like they don't sell it very much. So they were blowing out their Dunbarton stuff, and he got a few different sample packs. He smoked one of these. He did not care for it, so he sent two to me. Now, having smoked this once already, I can tell you that I absolutely loved it. I think it's a fantastic cigar. So Roger, I've thanked you already, but thank you so much because I really do dig this stick and uh, kind of giving some, some of my rating stuff away or anyways. Mi Carrera. So you're familiar with the Blue Band. Uh, that was one of the first cigars uh, Steve Saka came out with under Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. And then in 2018, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with, there's a, a cigar podcast that I've been watching. Shoot, man, I think they've been on for 10 years. I think I've been watching it or uh, listening to it for eight years. It is the Cigar Authority podcast uh, based out of New Hampshire, Two Guys Smoke Shops. Dave Garofalo, one of the smartest businessmen, not just in the cigar industry, but period. Super, super smart businessman. And a uh, number of years ago, he started a series called The Firecracker. It's an annual release. And um, every year he has someone else make it. He's had uh, Perdomo, uh, Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust, uh, let's see, he had the Kristoff, uh, he's got one, uh, I don't know who makes the the regular one, there's a regular one that's made that's just called, uh, I think it's just called the Firecracker. Anyways, every year they put out a the new annual Firecracker and every year he has someone else make it. 2018, he asks, Oh, that was an awesome smoke ring. He asked uh, Steve Saka, make a firecracker for us. And Steve Saka does it a little differently than what... Is it, the, the whole point behind the cigar is it's a three and a half inch long by 50 ring gauge with a long pigtail that is the stem or the, the wick, if you will, the fuse of the firecracker. And... So after he did that in 2018, it was a big hit. I've smoked a couple of them. I think I still have one in my humidor. Uh, he reached out to Dave Garofalo and said, hey, do you mind if I sort of do something similar to that blend again? Hence the Tricky Traka. So it does borrow from the original Mi Carrera blend. However, it's got a number one what do you call it, uh, Corona, uh, Connecticut Broadleaf Wrapper, Nicaraguan Binder, 
Nicaraguan and Dominican Lajero fillers and in particular some of the Dominican filler is really high grade high octane Lajero Dominican Lajero this is a cigar that I could buy by the box this cigar is just freaking awesome okay the draw on this is absolutely great I'm getting a lot of smoke the pepper in the nose is not very much. Uh, it's it's actually fairly smooth through the nose. I'm not getting a lot of not getting a lot of pepper presence in the mouth and on the palate, anything like that. A little bit to let you know it's there, but not a lot. Um, it's got flavor out the wazoo, depth of flavor. What are those flavors? Okay, I get a deep. Not a dark, oh, I get a deep chocolate out of this cigar. And it's somewhere between a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate. Um, not quite bitter. It's got a, a, a weird kind of sweetness to it that's really nice, but just a, a, a rich, earthy sweetness and uh, sort of a, a earthy, grungy, chocolatey note. It's got a little note of cedar in there. Um, there's something else though that I, I can't quite put my finger on and I actually like the red and gold band on the darker wrapper more than uh, the Mi Carita with the blue and gold and kind of a lighter wrapper. Th this cigar is going to score well. I mean it's hitting it off the charts all over the place right now but uh, I'm trying to figure out what that other flavor is that I'm getting. There's almost, there's almost a fruit leather component. I, I'm almost getting like a, a maybe a dark uh, cherry skin or something, but like in a fruit leather sort of, I don't know, it's odd. It's, it's, it's really good. I wish I was, it's too late in the day right now for me to have coffee. Um, but I really wish I was having a coffee with this. I think it would be fantastic. All right, guys, I'm gonna bounce out, smoke on this cigar for a while. We'll come back and wrap it up in a little while. Stick around. That sucked. Wow. <laughs> I know nothing about wines, uh, or any alcohol for that matter, because I don't drink, but a number of years ago, I took my wife to uh, wine country in California, and we went, uh, I don't remember the vineyard we went to, but uh, I picked up a bottle of port for my dad, not knowing if he would like it or not, but my dad tends to be into heavier, richer, bolder flavors and stuff. And he's a little bit of a wine drinker from time to time. And I just thought it'd be something kind of cool for him. The description on the bottle sounded good. So a port is a wine that is, it's a red wine and it tends to be sweeter, richer, uh, and I think even thicker, like a, a, a bolder, sort of heartier wine, if I understand it correctly. And that one had some fantastic aromas, dark cherry notes, some definite chocolate notes that blew my mind. I didn't, I didn't drink it obviously, but I, I smelled it when my dad opened the bottle. Why am I talking about a port right now? For some reason, this cigar reminded me of that. And I, I can only t go back to those sort of strange chocolate flavors I'm getting out of this, with kind of a mix between milk chocolate and dark chocolate. And, uh, 
and there's there's a sweetness to this cigar that's really faint but oh man it's it's good I don't know how strong the cigar is. I don't feel anything from it. To me, it really kind of feels like a, a medium full, medium to full strength. Uh, not quite full body, but getting close. But it's just got some fantastic, rich flavors. Um, those wood notes are still there. Yeah, a little bit of that cedar is coming through still. And it's about the perfect balance. It might not even be cedar now that I think of it, but it, it, that's kind of what's coming to mind. This cigar is fantastic. This is really, really a good cigar. This is the six by, uh, 648, which is a six inch by 48 uh, ring gauge. The other one that I smoked was a Robusto, if I remember correctly, and I don't know quite what size it was, but same type of thing, just a fantastic cigar. This is definitely a cigar I could buy boxes of. Man, it's a really good stick. It's getting, it's getting a bit stronger now. The, it's, the flavors, it's coating the palate more. It's making me want to drink more. It's, it's really making me kind of thirsty. Um, and oddly, it's also making me salivate quite a bit. It's good. Uh, there's a lot of flavor there. I'm getting a lot more pepper now. And in fact, the pepper is kind of everywhere in my mouth. It's not a strong pepper, but it's a hearty, like, uh, like fresh crushed uh, black peppercorn. That sweetness and that that richness is the is the uh, highlight of this cigar. And what I love about it is it starts off that way and it stays through the whole cigar. I get that, and I did out of the first one as well. So it's I can tell you that it is a consistent cigar, having smoked two of them now, and just a fantastic stick. Now I forgot to look up the. Uh, I forgot to do my rating and look up the price, so stick with me. I'll be right back. Okay, construction, five. Burn, five. Flavor, five. Body, five. Transition, 3.5. More of a long transition, although there was a distinct point where the more earthiness and uh, pepper came through. Uh, so it, it kind of transitions and gradually gets stronger, bolder, and then uh, with that uh, pepper and earth really kind of jumping out and stuff, gave it a 3.5. Price, four. 11.75 for the 6.48. And eh, I can't argue with that. It's uh, Dumbarton. You know, it's all his stuff is north of uh, 10 bucks, maybe except for the Umbagog. But anyways, that brought the total to a 4.6 on this cigar. I'm nubbing it. Thank you so much, Roger, for sending me a couple of these. Uh, you didn't care for it. That's cool. Everyone's palate is different. And uh, you figured this might fit my palate. And my friend, you were spot on. It, I love this cigar. It is fantastic. And uh, that's it. So thank you, everyone, for checking out. Uh, uh, real quick, I want to mention, I'll put it in the, um, in the notes if you're interested. But I will, uh, I'm also trying to figure out how to add that. that, uh, that I've seen on some channels where people add a Teespring uh, thing on, underneath their video so you can uh, order shirts or whatever. I've got a Teespring shop. Got uh, shirts there for High Desert Man and for Patriarchal Smoke, our Facebook group. I still have some High Desert Man hats. So if you're interested in the High Desert Man hat, um, you can reach out to me, Vic, at highdesertman.com. Vic is V-I-K. And um, yeah, check out the Teespring store. I'm actually building it up and sort of adding some more styles of shirts and some hoodies and stuff like that in there. 
Uh, that's about all I'm doing right now. I, I still have smoke chess. Uh, again, you have to reach out to me uh, through my email and I'll tell you how you can uh, pay for those and, and everything. The Teespring stuff, you just go on Teespring, order it, they'll send it out to you. It's all, it's all good. All right, guys, until uh, the next video, stick around. Go find this Tricky Traka if you have not tried it yet. And give it a shot because it's a great cigar. Not for the new smoker. Let me just put it that way. This is a bit heavy for a new smoker. All right, guys. See you later.